Aerospace engineering is the branch of engineering that's concerned with the design of aircraft and spacecraft. Uh, like mechanical engineers, we have basic training in physics, uh, heat transfer, fluid dynamics, uh, but aerospace engineers are specifically concerned with designing and building machines that fly. I had an internship with both NASA and SpaceX uh, while I've been in college. Um, I enjoyed both of them. I've gotten to learn from some really brilliant engineers. Uh, I've gotten to design and manufacture um, a bunch of hardware for real engineering projects. Um, and I even got to see astronauts um, in training uh, at the Neutral Buoyancy Lab in Houston. Uh, in the future, I'd like to continue work in the space industry after I get my aerospace degree. I'm going to be taking a full-time job at SpaceX, um, and some of my friends are going to be joining me um, at SpaceX. Others are taking full-time jobs at Boeing, Lockheed, and other aerospace companies. Astronautical engineering is the design, build, and operation of anything that exits Earth's atmosphere. From rockets to satellites, astronautical engineering provides a pretty good basis for space technologies. My favorite class was definitely my Astronautics 101 course. It was the first course that I ever had in engineering, and my professor ended up being the faculty supervisor in the lab I now work in, the Collaborative High Altitude Flow Facility. In class, I learned about orbital mechanics and the space environment, and outside of class in the lab, I was able to apply that knowledge into the research I was doing. In the future, I'd love to work for a private space technologies company like SpaceX. Some of my friends plan on entering similar fields, uh, working for companies like Blue Origin, which is similar, or defense companies like Northrop Grumman. Biomedical engineering is the application of engineering principles to the medical field and the human body. It's a really broad field. It goes everywhere from medical imaging to prosthetics. It's also highly interdisciplinary, so a lot of biomedical engineers will actually choose to focus on electrical, chemical, or even mechanical aspects of the field. I've really enjoyed being a part of the Associated Students of Biomedical Engineering, or ASBME for short. It's a really cool club that lets me spend time with other amazing biomedical engineers. We do corporate events where they bring in speakers and um, recruiters to talk to us about how to get jobs. And we also do a lot of social events. In the future, I'd like to work for a biotech company, possibly in product development or quality assurance. I would like to get my master's in biomedical engineering or possibly electrical engineering. A lot of my friends are choosing to get their PhD and go on to do research in biomedical engineering. And actually a majority of my friends are going on to med school. Civil engineering is essentially the designing and building of the infrastructure that we use on a daily basis. This includes things like buildings, bridges, roads, railways, harbors, and even water supply and treatment, waste treatment, and energy systems. Civil engineering is a broad field that includes areas such as architectural, structural, construction, environmental, and water resources engineering. I really enjoyed being a part of the USC Center on Megacities because I am able to study renewable energy solutions and their applications. As cities and populations grow and expand, there is a need for large-scale, sustainable energy solutions. As of right now, I'm not sure what I will do once I graduate with my degree in civil engineering. However, some of my friends spent the past summer interning with architectural design, construction, and contracting firms. In the future, they plan to work in similar firms as project and construction managers. Chemical engineering is a broad field that applies chemistry, biology, physics, and math to modern engineering problems. A chemical engineer takes raw materials and turns it into something more valuable. I've really enjoyed being a part of the American Institute of Chemical Engineers, or AKI. As the president of AKI this year, I've had the chance to meet a lot of new friends, become a better leader, and meet representatives from various companies where I might potentially get a job in the future. In the future, I want to get a job in the biotech industry. Other chemical engineering students plan to use their degrees to go to grad school and get their PhDs whereas others plan to enter the petroleum industry and work at companies like Chevron. Computer science is the study of finding efficient hardware and software-based solutions to computer-solvable problems. It includes both practical sides, like software development and software maintenance, as well as theoretical sides, like algorithm design and analysis. My favorite class has been Principles of Software Development, where I learned about concurrent programming and worked on a team composed of students from three classes to complete a large eight-week factory simulation project. I'm involved in that project again this semester as a team leader where I've learned a lot about working with people and leadership. In the future, I want to help companies become more efficient by integrating new technologies into their workflows using my computer science degree. Some of my friends want to go into game development, get their PhDs, and others want to work on developing new hardware that will make computing better for everyone. Environmental engineering is a dynamic field of engineering that deals mostly with our changing environment, um, which means it focuses on things like air, soil, and water remediation and quality, um, but it's by no means limited to just these focuses. 
um, at USC and even in the industry, environmental engineering is a relatively new field of engineering. So it's constantly being redefined and redeveloped um, just as our knowledge of the environment is constantly changing. My favorite class at USC so far has been the design of free surface hydraulic systems. Um, I liked it so much because my professor was actually a full-time professional engineer, so we got to work with um, various modeling and simulation programs. Um, throughout the class, we use these programs to demonstrate local environmental issues such as attaining water for the city of LA. In the future, I hope to pursue construction and infrastructure, though I'm also interested in an environmental consulting um, career. Um, an environmental engineering degree opens up your options to working for things like the design and development of alternative energy systems, as well as working for companies like waste management or other private consulting firms. Electrical engineering is a broad field that covers all sorts of topics, such as signal processing, computers, circuits, or lasers and photonics. It's used in almost every industry because it encompasses so much information. So as an electrical engineer, you get to try a little bit of everything and then choose an area in which you want to specialize. For example, I chose to go into signal processing and specialize in controls and robotics. I really enjoy being a part of SC Underwater Robotics because I've gotten to take what I learned in class and apply it. We compete in the annual RoboSub competition at the U.S. Naval Base in San Diego, and we design an autonomous underwater vehicle. I've been working on the power board, so it's really great to be working on a project like that and get to see it through from start to finish. Sometimes I enjoy doing that so much that I'd prefer to do that over my homework. In the future, I'm planning on getting my master's in electrical engineering and hopefully working in a field like robotics or defense research but I also have some other friends who are working in areas like wireless communications or PCB design at companies like Apple, Boeing, or Intel. Industrial Systems Engineering is a study that involves optimization and productivity. We learn techniques to minimize waste and to increase process flow efficiency in manufacturing plants and also in complex systems. I had an internship with Deloitte and I really enjoyed it because I got to travel to New York to work with a banking client. The project was about to double in size, so I worked with project management to facilitate the growth of the project and also to create an onboarding program to help the new members understand the complexities of the project. In the future, I want to get into technology consulting and systems implementation with my ISC degree. Some of my friends are getting into facilities planning and design or resource optimization at a variety of industries including the automotive, pharmaceutical, and even the entertainment industry. Mechanical engineering is a study of fluids, heat transfers, and different materials to create other systems such as mechanical systems, optical systems, and electrical systems. It's basically the closest thing that you can get to becoming an inventor because it gives you a lot of flexibility in working with different areas such as roller coaster design, robotics, and fuel cell technology. My favorite class has been Amy 308, my SolidWorks design course. We created virtual three-dimensional models of piston heads and analyzed every single component of this in order to see whether the stresses would work out if we were to build it in real life. In the future, I want to work on creating renewable energy sources with my mechanical engineering degree. Other options I'm looking into is working as a Disney Imagineer, designing roller coasters for Disney, Disney World, Disneyland. And another option I'm looking into is working with Tesla Motors Inc, creating green technology, electrical vehicles, sports cars that look really nifty and still help conserve energy as well as the nature around us.